Hi kids! Today we will learn about rocks. So let's start. Rocks are naturally existing solid matter that exist in nature and are made up of combinations of one or more minerals. We will learn what minerals are later on. Where can you find rocks on Earth? You will find rocks on most of the places on Earth. Here are a few examples. Beaches have big stones. Garden soil has stones in it. Seabed has a lot of stones. Surrounding area of a volcano has stones. Caves are made up of stones. You can find big stones on mountains. Deserts also have a lot of stones. So there are just so many places where you can find rocks. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. The scientists who study the earth are called geologists. Geologists study about rocks and minerals as rocks and minerals are the best examples to understand the evolution of our earth. Rocks tell geologists about what happened on earth millions of years ago. Rocks and minerals also tell about what is there at the center of the earth. Rocks also tell us about the possible locations of volcanoes and which places can be centers of earthquakes. Rocks can be categorized into three categories, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Now, let's learn about each one by one. Igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are of two types, intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. Let's first learn what are intrusive igneous rocks. There is magma, that is hot molten matter, present deep inside the Earth's surface. Sometimes, this molten matter cools down, hardens, and forms rocks. These rocks formed inside the Earth's surface are called intrusive igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are made up of large crystals because the cooling of molten matter occurs at a slow rate below the Earth's surface. This is why large crystals are formed in intrusive igneous rocks. Examples of intrusive igneous rocks are Diorite, gabbro, granite, pegmatite, and peridotite. Lava. When this molten matter or magma comes out of the Earth's surface by rupturing it, it's known as lava. This lava too cools down and forms rocks. And rocks formed by cooling down of lava outside the Earth's surface are called extrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks have smaller crystals and are shinier. It is because the lava outside the Earth's surface cools down quickly and forms smaller crystals that shine. So kids, we learned that igneous rocks are of two types intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. When the hot molten matter inside the earth cools down, it forms intrusive igneous rocks with bigger crystals as the molten cools at a slower rate. And then the lava comes out of the earth's surface and cools down outside the earth. It forms rocks with shinier and smaller crystals, and they are known as 
extrusive igneous rocks. The crystals in extrusive igneous rocks are smaller in size because of the molten matter outside the Earth's surface cools down very quickly. Now let's learn about another type of rock known as sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are made from sediments like particles of sand, shells, pebbles, other rocks. Let's learn how they are formed. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Weathering There is continuous breakdown of different types of rocks into smaller pieces due to the action of forces like wind, rain, sea waves, plants, animals, changes in temperature, and pressure. This breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces of rocks is called weathering. These are some beautiful shapes of rocks formed by the continuous weathering over the years. And where do these small weathered pieces of rocks go? Erosion. These small pieces of broken rock particles and minerals are carried away by water, air, and this carrying away of small pieces of rocks is called erosion. And due to erosion, the small pieces of rocks reaches the water bodies and settle down in the beds of water bodies. This is called sedimentation and many layers of sediment accumulate over the passage of years and under the pressure of seawater. A process called compaction occurs, and the layers of sediments are hardened, and they form sedimentary rocks. Organic matter, that is, dead and decayed plants and animals, get trapped into these layers and form fossils. Sedimentary rocks are made up of layers called strata. The layer at the bottom is the oldest one, and the topmost layer is the newest one. There are six main types of sedimentary rocks, including conglomerate, sandstone, shale, limestone, gypsum, and grisha. Now let's learn another type of rocks called the metamorphic rocks. Sometimes the sedimentary rocks and igneous rocks are trapped at a great depth beneath the Earth's surface, and there is very high temperature and pressure. And this extreme pressure and temperature make the rocks undergo physical and chemical changes called metamorphosis. And sedimentary or igneous rocks change to metamorphic rocks. These rocks have layers and may also shine like crystals. Examples of metamorphic rocks include Genesis and marble. So kids, today we learned about different types of rocks. In our next assignment, we will learn about minerals. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.